Hello, this is Alec Kerr, the film critic for the Conway Daily Sun. And this week I want to talk about old movies. Because I've been encountering on the internet that people in their early 20s, late, late teens, have been kind of dismissive of films from the 90s. I, I watch a YouTube channel called SourceFed, and they do a video series called Movie Club, where they watch films on Netflix, review them, and then also have their viewers send in videos, responses, uh, with their own reviews, and then edit all together. And they did one on the movie Tremors, and one person was just like, well, I wasn't sure about this movie because it's over 20 years old, so I figured it would be terrible. And then on IMDb, the message board for Jurassic Park, there was someone saying, I'm not sure I want to go see Jurassic Park because it's 20 years old, and that means it's probably not going to be any good. And that just blew my mind that as, as someone who was born in 1983, the idea that films from the 90s would be considered old uh, was just, uh, well, it made me feel old. And for, for a second, I was going to get on the whole, like, old kids today and be an old fogey. Uh, but then I realized this really isn't a new pr trend. It isn't a new problem. This has been something that has existed a long time. Um, and maybe it is the, uh, the use of the word old to describe these movies, because when we say something is old, we tend to think that it means it's no longer good anymore. Things that are old have a tendency of falling apart, breaking down, being faulty. We are scared of getting old because ultimately that means that we are one step closer to no longer existing. So when we say something is uh, a movie is 20 years old or 30 years old, the implication is that it probably isn't any good anymore because it's aged. And granted, there are some movies that are dated, are aged, and don't hold up well, but classic films are always going to be classic. But every generation has a tendency of forgetting the older films, and you have to make sure that older films are introduced to new generations, because new isn't always better, just like old isn't always classic. There are always going to be bad films from years past, and there are always going to be bad films from the present. So I'm definitely not one of these nostalgic people who is just like, anything new that comes out is terrible, and I'm only going to watch classic films. Because there's always going to be great new films. But I don't think people should ignore the past either. And if people in their teens and early 20s are being dismissive of films that are only 20 years old, what's going to happen to films that are made from the 70s, or the 60s, or the 50s, or, heaven forbid, the 30s and 40s. Because some of my favorite films are decades old. Films like His Girl Friday, or Philadelphia Story, or Bringing Up Baby, or Twelve Angry Men, Some Like It Hot. These are all films from the 30s, 40s, and 50s, and they're among my favorites. From the 70s, you have films like Jaws. And Jaws, I just recently watched with my girlfriend, and, and she was like, this film seems really fresh and not dated at all. And we were watching a trailer for another film from the 70s, The Taking of Poem 1, 2, 3. And she's like, this doesn't look dated at all either. And it isn't. It's fresh and engaging and a heck of a lot better than the remake that came out a few years ago. It's important to preserve a, a knowledge of film past because... Without that knowledge, it's going to all fade away, and uh, I don't want to see that fade away. There are so many great film classics out there that need to be explored. And as I said, this is nothing new. People have been afraid of watching black and white films for decades, because black and white, they assume, means it's old and dusty and not any good. But even in the 90s, Siskel and Ebert did a special about the, the glory of black and white, and not to be dismissive of it just because it's not in color. Basically, my message here is get out there and watch classic films, and don't be scared. Uh, don't just think because they're old, they're bad, because old does not mean bad all the time. So anyway, this is Alec, and come back next week for another Real Thoughts.